Hey guys, uh, Vince here. I just wanted to go over uh, Coach Dave Academy on this video. Uh, we see a lot of advertisement from them, and uh, as being you know the the best coaching academy, uh, best uh, ACC setup, and also iRacing setup. So I uh, wanted to give them a try. I subscribed and also uh, give them a try for the ACC setups as well as the MoTeC uh, i2. Uh, data so we'll go over that on this video and see if it's worth the investment so without further ado let's get stuck into it regarding the coaching academy uh there's plenty of options out there for i racing for acc for ac for all kinds of game and i wanted to kind of try uh, coach dave academy we hear quite a bit about them uh, having you know racing setups and and all that and i wonder if they're any good um because the setups is one thing but they also have the telemetry on uh, their website so if you go on to uh, acc setup and you click on setup subscription so it says pricing options um and if we click on that uh you end up to a single bundle which is 2450 for one car one track and one data file uh and if you subscribe to 9.99 a month then you have early access to setups all dry wet setups all data files for the motec uh, I2 data files, all YouTube onboard laps, uh, track maps, and so on and so forth. So I doubt that the single setup bundle would bring any good, or at least it could bring good, but it's very subjective. Uh, maybe the setup that they did then doesn't suit your driving style. Um, but this bundle seems uh, a little more appealing to me, um, would probably be uh, a better deal. So we'll go ahead and we'll subscribe and we'll see uh, how to install it and also if it's, you know, if it's any good. All right, so here we are for the setup. Uh, my subscription is active. Uh, the first thing we need to do from there is to download uh, the Coach Dave Delta app. Uh, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. And we'll do the install and come back after that. So the setup is quite easy. Uh, just double click. We need to click on more info and run anyway, because uh, it's an unknown publisher. Um, and that's it. Uh, it just launches. From there, uh, we need to log in with Discord. So you go ahead and you uh, authorize the access to your Discord. And there you are. Uh, welcome, Vinny. This, that's my Discord name. So with the package comes uh, install. That's the email you receive, actually. So it says install your setup using the Delta app. You've got onboard video of all uh, of all of our laps uh, that can be found on YouTube. Uh, manage your subs subscription. Um, learn how to use MoTeC data. Discover the latest setup release, and uh, you can uh, subscribe to their Discord server. Uh, so we'll we'll go in detail on each of that. Uh, the Delta app is really the key here. Uh, that is what really is important in the subscription. The onboard video are free to watch for anyone, so that doesn't really bring anything. And uh, finally, the manager subscription uh, has nothing in it. Uh, we'll see that. And the MoTeC data, we'll go over it, but uh, not too impressed with it. So let's let let's uh, dig right into it. So within the Delta app, uh, we have you know all the cars that you can see there. There's also a download limit that you can see at the bottom. Uh, that's a download limit that you have a daily and also monthly. 
So if you want to um, download a car or track, uh, you can go by the menu that I'm doing right now. So GT3, Bentley, Silverstone, and any trim um, that, that you see. So they, these are the two trims that are available for this car. It's quality and endurance. That's it. Uh, so if you want to install it, you click on it and click install. So that JSON file is going to be added to uh, the, the actual folder for um, the setups. Now the download limit, you've seen, uh, I just uh, advanced because I downloaded one setup. You can download six per day, 30 per month, uh, and that's it. And if you click on your profile, uh, that's all you have, dark mode, light mode, and that's it. So another way to install is to click the install button. Uh, that's the easiest way I found. Uh, you can choose uh, your car. So say I want a uh, McLaren GT3. I'm just going to go click on it. Uh, we're going to uh, choose S S Silverstone again, uh, just for the sake of this video. And all trims at the bottom. And then we click uh, install. And there you go, setups installed successfully. And the download limit is just advancing uh, at the same time. So you can install uh, car by car, track by track uh, from that menu. Now, if we click on the 1.00, that is the version of, basically that's the about section. So the release notes of each versions. Uh, so that's good that they continue to improve that because it's fairly minimal at the moment. There's quite a lot of tutorials on their website. I was kind of curious about uh, the download limit. Uh, so I did a search on, on that uh, topic and uh, was able to found an article on it. Any setup subscription terms and condition. I was able to find it. So you see the first month, you download, daily download limit is six and monthly 30. Uh, second month, 12 and 45. Third month, 15 45. Fourth month, 15 45. And then fifth month and plus unlimited. Um, and they do that to avoid people paying $9.99, downloading the whole package and then canceling. And that's understandable. Uh, it's just a pain in the butt if you're racing leaks and multiple tracks. Uh, you won't be able to get your all your setup the first month, uh, most likely. So now here's their YouTube um, platform. Um, you see all the videos that are there from um, you know ACC or iRacing. Uh, you've got a couple playlists there. Uh, the playlists are not optimal. Um, they haven't arranged them pretty well. Uh, there's a couple playlists, but if you really want to see a video, you need to search for it because uh, there's a bunch of video there. So you do a search uh, from there, say McLaren. And Silverstone and you will be able to find what's uh, for that track. As a matter of fact, they didn't do a, a lap with the McLaren at Silverstone. So they say that they have videos for each car and each track, but the reality is it, it's not the case. You will have for each track, but not necessarily the car you wanna, you wanna drive. So uh, you need to kind of adapt uh, your you're driving to whatever car you have regardless. So that's for the uh, videos that they have on their uh, website. Now, when you log into your uh, Coach Dave Academy subscription, uh, downloads, dashboards, and all that, uh, you will see uh, what you can download the track maps from there. So the car setup is through the Delta app. The track maps can be downloaded through the subscription uh, section on their, um, your Coach Dave Academy subscription. Uh, the track maps are essentially just a PDF 
of the map with the turns that are there so you can take notes there's mm -hmm. nothing more there um i don't know how useful that can be to anyone um but yeah it it's the track and details turn by turn uh and then you can take notes i guess if you're really hardcore sim racer i won't be using that to be honest um the other thing you have is the dashboard um uh, there's nothing in there <laughs> uh so the website is the website is quite disappointing to be honest uh i mean the the subscription portal is is disappointing. There's a ton of tutorials. It is a ton of material that are free uh, from from the website, like this Motec uh, install tool. So we'll go over that right now. Need to install the Motec uh, i2 Pro 64-bit. So I'm just going to install that right now. Fairly easy installation, uh, just a next, next, next install type of deal. That's what they advertise as, uh, you know, the other big features. So I have quite high expectations on Motec i2 Pro uh, data files, and we'll see what it brings to your uh, racing game, basically. So if we go back to the guide, it says to download it, uh, go to Documents, Set of Corsa Competiciones, uh, Motec Workspace, and copy Base ACC and place it into the Motec i2 workspaces. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just a note on that, uh, you have a Base ACC uh, file but it's not only the file that you need to copy, you need to copy the folder that comes with it. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it. So once you've done that, uh, you have the base ACC, you can open that, there's nothing in it. Uh, all you have to do from there is to um, actually run laps. So you go in game and use the telemetry to, um, uh, record some some laps into the Motec. You go into the game, you start a practice session, uh, you go into your preset, uh, you click on electronics and uh, telemetry laps. You can add three or more there, but three is enough as they say. And uh, I've just took the basic safe setup from there and just to run some laps uh, and see what it does. And you have the file into documents, Motec, and here are the files that I've recorded. So you double click on one of these, and there you have it. You have all of your data, whether you're in game or out of the game, doesn't matter. But uh, you have all your data. So there's quite a few tabs there. Uh, as you can see, you have the track report, uh, you have section time. Um, you know, suspension, travel, suspension history. Uh, you can compare one lap with another. Uh, honestly, all of that uh, is a bit of Chinese to me. Uh, and I guess to most of the racers that'll be out there. Um, I mean, I'm not an engineer into motorsport. Um, I was quite disappointed with that uh, software. It, it's meant for engineers and it, it's meant to uh, compare the data from lap to lap and, and try to improve from uh, squiggly lines, essentially. Uh, so most of the people won't find this uh, relevant or won't find this uh, very helpful. Um, you know, there's quite a bit of data that that, that is available there your revs uh, for instance if you're if you're revving and shifting at the right moment that that can be useful i mean but will sim racers will take the time to go over that and waste their time on that unless you're really a hardcore sim racer i doubt it to be honest so i don't see any value into the motec 
uh, for most sim racers, but for others that are in, you know, in championships and have engineers in their team, then that's absolutely uh, relevant and absolutely needed, uh, of course. So after all of that, is Coach Dave Academy subscription worth it in the end? Well, I'll respond to that with my racing experience using their setups. The answer is absolutely yes for the setups. Everything else, the YouTube videos are free to watch for anyone uh, on, the, on the YouTube. Uh, so that's not really a perk from the subscription. The track maps, I mean, a PDF of the track, uh, not a whole lot of value in there. Um, Motec data, valuable absolutely for people that have that are in the team and are doing championships and now want to, you know, grasp the thousands of the second that they can grasp out of it. Um, yes, but for 99% of sim racers, that will be useless. Um, but the setups are absolutely worth it are absolutely good the moment i put the setup on the mclaren 720 at silverstone and did a lap i felt it that the the car felt on track and almost impossible to to turn and that was at uh traction control one i used to run at a three or four and traction control one and no problem whatsoever so before uh, the installation of Coach Dave Academy setup, I was doing 206, 207. My best lap was a 2058. And then after the installation of setup, and you'll see in the, in the race that I'm going to display now, uh, I was able to run consistent 202s and 203s during a race in race trim, not even in quali. So that is amazing i mean you can't ask for more than a setup uh and then after that it's just practice and practice and then out of the sudden you get sub two minutes and uh you know racing with the best of the best so yes absolutely worth it for the setups because the setups play a big 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 role into your lap time that's what i found out if you don't have the right setup I mean, you're limited by what the car is going to give you and the suspension's too soft or too stiff or whatever, and it doesn't work. Even the aggressive setup was nowhere near what we can get with Coach Dave Academy. And as soon as I got these uh, on board, man, I could, I could do what they say uh, pro-am uh, time. So amateur would be 202, pro-am would be like two, and then... Uh, pro, uh, and that that means the very best pro would be 157 or something, and I was able to go sub two. So, it, and I'm nowhere near pro in sim racing. So these setups are helping a ton. I can tell you that. So, is Coach Dave Academy worth it? Yes, absolutely for the setups. The rest, not so much. All the perks that are listed there they're not really attractive or don't bring any value to most of the sim racers. What I can tell you though is, um, you know, 2450, I think per setup, that's a bit high. You, you better subscribe and take the 999 a month. And then after fi five months of paying, and that is 50 bucks, you can download the whole thing. So, and I will personally, uh, stick with the five month i will download the whole thing and probably continue to pay just for uh get the newest upgrade because they continue to post new setups uh what i can tell you is that they don't have all the setups dialed in right now they have endurance set up here and there they have dry setup pretty much everywhere quality and race uh, but I haven't seen a whole lot of wet setup right now. So I think they're still working on their library of setups and it's absolutely worth it to wait for them because these guys know what they're doing. I mean, the car is completely different once you install their setup, completely dialed in on track. So 
uh, with that, I hope it's been helpful for you if you decide to subscribe or not. But again, no affiliation whatsoever to uh, Coach Dave Academy, but for me, absolutely 100% worth it. With that, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.